As always with these logic questions, let's try to keep it as simple as possible and then go from there. So let's take a look at the passage. One aspect of in-person shopping that online shopping can't replicate is the opportunity to touch a product before buying it. So it's probably gonna be about touching things. Does this difference matter? In an experiment, researchers asked one group of participants to touch a mug and a toy, while another group was prohibited from touching the two items. So again, it's about touch. Main ideas are repeated ideas, okay? Uh, the participants were then asked how much money they'd pay for the items. People who got to touch the items were willing to pay much more money for them than were people who weren't allowed to touch the items. This finding suggests that, okay? So my dumb summary, or just like kind of filling in the blank here, is touching is good. So now let's look at the choices. A, people who mainly shop online probably spend more money every month than people who mainly shop in person do. Well, this seems like a lot of like thinking here. It doesn't say anything about touching good, but it does kind of start to do this thing the SAT sometimes does where they like translate a word into another word. So if we go back to the beginning of this passage, in-person shopping is equivalent to touching things. And online shopping is no touching. So this is a case where the initial definition is really helpful to go back to. They're basically talking about touching by using different words. So people who mainly shop online, who no touch, probably spend more money every month than people who mainly shop in person. So no, that's exactly the opposite of what the last sentence of this passage says. It says that touching made people wanna pay more. So no touching is not gonna make them spend more. That doesn't make any sense. B, in-person shopping may make products seem more valuable than they seem if only viewed online. So in-person shopping, so touching, may make products seem more valuable. Yeah, that, that seems like what we thought it was going to be. So let's keep it in. Maybe there's more to it than that, but let's keep that for now. C, retailers with in-person and online stores should charge the same price for a given product in both places. Well, the problem here is the word same. The, the, maybe they should, because maybe they, they don't it's worth the same amount. It's just our perception of what it's worth is changing, but that's not the point of the passage, right? The point of the passage is to compare online and in-person shopping. So if they're the same, then we're not making the same comparison that the passage was. We're trying to rank them, right? Normally we think of ranking things as, as a red flag on these passages, but this the whole point of this passage is that that's what we want. We want to rank them and we say that one is better than the other. D, online retailers may be able to raise the prices if they charge for products that are only available online. So again, no touching says that you have less, they're willing to spend less money. So you raising prices doesn't seem like we want that, right? That That's what we would do if we were in person maybe, but not online. So look, you don't need a whole complicated story to, to prove B wrong, or prove D wrong. B is proven right with very simple connections to our passage, right? That touching and in-person shopping are kind of the same thing. And so touching is good. So in-person shopping is good. It costs, you know, it's gonna, people are gonna have more uh, that they're gonna spend, or at least that they're gonna perceive things as being more valuable than they really are. So um, this is how like sometimes it's not really about the thing that the passage is about. Yes, this is about online shopping versus, uh, you know, in-person shopping, but they, they very quickly at the beginning kind of redefined those things to be about touching a product. So try to think of your summaries in those ways as well, and it'll make the choices much easier to understand.